What's up boys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a 2021 MLB mock draft. The 2021 MLB draft is fastly approaching us and this will be our first and only MLB 2021 draft. Mock drafts I should say that we're going to be doing. So with that said, let's not waste any time and get right into it. The first overall pick I believe will be Marcelo Meyer. Shorts out out of East Lake High School. He's got good hit, power, and run ability, which I like. Uh, just slightly over Jordan Lawler, in my opinion, to put him here at this number one overall spot for me. The number two overall pick will belong to the Texas Rangers, and I believe they'll take Jordan Lawler. Jordan Lawler is also a shortstop, and he's coming out of Jesuit Prep in Texas. For a, the longest time, he was the number one overall pick, like, without a doubt in most people's eyes. But he just recently kind of got passed by Marcelo Meyer, so right now he's going to be at number two overall. Third pick belongs to the Detroit Tigers, who I believe will be taking Khalil Watson, believe it or not. Khalil Watson's not necessarily a sleeper in this class, but uh, three straight high school slash prep shortstops going and he's been flying up boards this draft happens next year we could be talking about Khalil Watson going number one overall he's that good left-handed power bat good defender at shortstop good run he could end up being a five tool player in the MLB I like this kid a lot the fourth overall pick belongs to the Boston Red Sox who I believe will end up selecting in this year's draft Jackson Job, one of the most natural spin rates in the entire draft. And yes, I do think I like him a little bit more than Jack Leiter and Kumar Rocker here. He's got such potential. He's a big body pitcher, got great spin rate. And I think he projects really well to the MLB. Fifth overall, the pick is belonging to the Baltimore Orioles. And I think they'll take Jack Leiter, my top college pitcher in the draft. Jack Leiter has been dominant during his time at Vanderbilt, and this year was just the icing on the cake. Possibly, for a, for a moment in time, he was looking like the first overall pick. That has kind of died down a little bit, although it's still possible. Uh, but Jack Leiter has been really good throughout his career. Obviously, Al Leiter is his father, who really helped him in this process. Number six overall, I believe that the Arizona Diamondbacks will be taking Henry Davis, catcher out of Louisville. Now, I'm a little bit lower, not going to lie to you, on Henry Davis and a lot of people. Um, there's, for me, it's just something about his swing that doesn't quite look... It's natural for him, obviously, but it doesn't look like a pure swing that you'd expect from a sixth overall pick catcher, in my opinion. But he's still a fantastic prospect, good hitter, good behind the plate. he got a cannon of an arm. Kumar Rocker is who I believe will be taken seventh overall by the Kansas City Royals. That team desperately needs uh, some pitching to come through their system. And Kumar Rocker could honestly end up being one of the seals of the draft, falling all the way number seven overall in this mock. He's been really good at Vanderbilt. One of the two aces that they have on that college roster. It's really impressive what he's been able to do. At number eight overall, the Colorado Rockies are on the clock. And I believe they'll take Sal Frelick. Yes, Sal Frelick, guys. I am really high on Sal Frelick. He is my top-ranked outfielder in the entire draft. I like what he does a lot. Boston College, he was fantastic there. And I think he translates to the MLB. He's got a low floor, which I do kind of like. And the ceiling's still high with that, even though he has a low floor. I am really impressed by Sal Frelick. Uh, looking forward to what he can do in the future. With the ninth pick, the Los Angeles Angels are on the clock. And I think they will be taking... Another shortstop, Brady House out of Winterboro, Georgia. But right here, I have him going to the Angels at number 9 overall. I think he's really good. At number 10 overall, I believe that the New York Mets are going to select right-handed pitcher Andrew Painter. I like what I've seen from Andrew Painter, man. I think he's actually kind of underrated in this class. Uh, he can kind of paint corners, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he's got a good pitch mix, and 
and I like him in this draft a good bit. Uh, next pick belongs to the Washington Nationals at 11th overall, and I think they will be taking Colton Kowser out of Sam Houston State, one of the best left-handed bats in this entire draft, probably only outside of like Khalil Watson, honestly. Number 12 pick belongs to the Seattle Mariners, who I believe will take uh, Sam Bachman. I'm not sure that, if that's pronounced that correctly out of Miami, Ohio. He's a right-handed pitcher. Really good. Another one of those guys wasn't highly touted, but he ended up really dominating. Next pick belongs to the Philadelphia Phillies, who I believe will select Gunnar Hogland out of Ole Miss. Uh, Gunnar Hogland's a guy I like a lot and could have went really high if he didn't have the Tommy John surgery. And I like him a lot. Without the Tommy John, he's a top 10 uh, player in this draft for me. With the next pick, I believe that the San Francisco Giants are going to go Bubba Chandler. Bubba Chandler, he's kind of a two-way player. I'm not exactly sure which one he uh, translates to in the MLB. It's highly unlikely he's going to turn out to be both. But for me, I think you bet on the athlete at this point and go with Bubba Chandler. Next pick, I believe Ty Madden will be picked by the Milwaukee Brewers to strengthen that pitching staff even more than it already is. The Brewers are honestly one of the best pitching teams in the entire MLB, and Ty Madden's only going to help that if he gets drafted here at this spot. With the next pick, the 16th overall pick, I believe the Miami Marlins are going to go with one of my favorite players in the draft, my personal favorites, Joshua Baez. He is a big time power bat. He's got a cannon of an arm, and he can really has he really has massive pop. Benny Montgomery is who I believe will go next in the draft to the Cincinnati Reds at this spot. I like what I see from him. Not exactly the most pop in the world, which I would like to see up, but he's really really good. With the 18th overall pick, I believe the Saint Louis Cardinals are going to take. Harry Ford, catcher out of North Cobb High School in Georgia. With the next selection, I believe the Toronto Blue Jays, excuse me, are going to take Jordan Wicks. Jordan Wicks is a left-handed pitcher out of Kansas State. I think this is where he finally ends up at this 19th spot. He's really good, probably the best uh, true left-handed pitcher in this draft. With the 20th pick, I believe the New York Yankees will take Matt McClain. It, it just seems like a Yankees pick to me, and I don't know why. Matt McClain kind of seems like a deep Jalen Mayhew type, in my opinion. And if he can develop like that, that's fantastic. I mean, it really is. Michael McGreevy is who I believe will be taken with the 21st pick in the draft from the Chicago Cubs. I like what I see from Michael McGreevy. UC Santa Barbara has done a really good job with this kid. 6'4", and he's really good. Will Bednar, talk about playing into the first round. Uh, the Mississippi State uh, Championship baseball team, I believe, has really helped Will Bednar get into the first round here. I think that's why he's going to get taken 22nd overall by the Chicago White Sox. Number 23 overall, I think the Cleveland Indians are going to be taking Gavin Williams, right-handed pitcher from ECU. Another one of the guys who's been flying up craft boards of late. This past season really been good for Gavin Williams. Got a good fastball and a good curveball, which I also like a lot. With the 24th pick, I think the Atlanta Braves are going to be taking yet another Wake Forest pitching uh, prospect. And that's going to be Ryan Kusick. Not sure if I'm saying that right, but he's 6'6". Got a monster fastball. Performed really good at Wake Forest. I like him here to the Braves at 24 overall. With the 25th pick here, I'm going to be taking Will Taylor out of Dutch Fork High School. A, a, a lot of guys are higher on him than I am. I'd like to see the pop from a little bit more. But if he can develop that, he can be a really good player. Honestly, maybe end up like a Chris Taylor type. That'd be pretty interesting. With the next pick, I have the Oakland, excuse me, the Minnesota Twins, who are on the spot on the clock now. I have them taking left-handed pitcher Anthony Solomeno. He's a UNC commit, so I actually know I've seen him quite a bit. He's 6'5", got the weirdest arm angle you might ever see. Just got a strange release. 
And if it develops really good and it really turns out that people can't hit it, then it's going to be fantastic in the MLB. But if people are able to learn that motion pretty easily, uh, it's going to be even more interesting to see how he develops. But honestly, could end up as a reliever if he decides to go into the MLB farm system uh, this year. With the 27th pick, I think the San Diego Padres are going to be taking Chase Petty, the flamethrower. Uh, throws over 100 fairly consistently, honestly. A little wild, actually quite a bit wild, which is why he's down this far. If he was uh, more controlled, then he'd probably be higher up on this list. Number 28, I have the Tampa Bay Rays at this spot selecting one of my favorite players in the draft, actually. And that's going to be second baseman Peyton Stovall. He could play short, probably translates as a second baseman. But I like his swing, and I like the way he plays the game, man. He's got pretty good pop, more than I would probably expect at uh, second base position. So yeah, I like Peyton Stovall. And with the final pick in this draft, the 29th overall pick, I think the Los Angeles Dodgers will take Colson Montgomery, a third baseman out of Southridge, Indiana. Maybe the best swing in the draft, in my opinion. He has such a pure swing. It kind of resembles Cody Bellinger in a way, but it's so much more pure and effective than Cody Bellinger's swing. I like it a lot. Um, so, Colton Col Montgomery, honestly, if he went any higher than this, I wouldn't be surprised. His swing is absolutely beautiful. I think he could be a really good MLB player one day. So, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you think about this mock draft in the comments down below. Um, Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.